last but not least, and certainly not least, <laughs> this guy, Big Huevos. That's what he's known for in Hawaii. He and his brother, Big Huevos. These guys like big, gnarly barrels. East Coast Surfing Hall of Fame is proud to induct Clifton James Hopkins. CJ is a tenacious, goofy foot surfer born in 1979 Melbourne Beach and raised in Satellite Beach, Florida. His father was an avid surfer, which prompted him to begin riding waves in 1984 alongside his identical twin brother, Damien. The two boys were hooked from the very beginning. Five years later, CJ won the Many Hooney Division of the 1991 ESA Championships. Damien got second. This set up both of them for a long run at the top, the very top, of national amateur ranks. He was the NSSA East Coast Boys Champion, 94, NSSA National Juniors Champion in 95, and in 1997 he became the NSSA East Coast Men's Champion. He emerged onto the international competition scene, finishing third in the prestigious Pro Junior Contest in Sydney, Australia. Turning pro in 1998, CJ finished the 99 season ranked 18th in the world and was named WCT Rookie of the Year. The following year, he finished 7th in the rankings after scoring his first pro tour win at the Hossager Ripcord Pro. The honors kept coming as he was named Breakthrough Surfer of the Year at the annual Surfer Poll Magazine Readers Awards. The very next year, at 22 years old, he ascended to the throne of world champion, taking the 2001 WCT title. Woo! World champion from the East Coast of the United States. His other WCT wins include 2004 Billabong Pro Tahiti, 2004 Quicksilver Pro Chiba Japan, 2007 U.S. Open of Surfing, 2008, Billabong Pro Mandaka. Hobgood has earned a reputation as one of the most likable pros of his era. His legacy as one of the world's great surfers comes from his ability to throw himself over the ledge into massive pits when surfing pipe, chokes, and cloud break. His reputation on the North Shore was always about charging big barrels and he deserves all of it. But most of all, one of the most humble and genuinely friendly human beings I've met. He's great. My first meeting of him, we were out, I was out surfing A-frame with the boys, Chris Birch and Nemo. And these two wise ass little 12 year olds are going, hey old man, what the hell are you doing? And I, I went and they were yelling at Chris Birch and I said, Chris, who's these little fuckers? <laughs> and it was him and his brother. And these guys at 12 years old, they, they were destined for greatness because they were cocky little bastards. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen the movie, go see it. Two If By C tells a great story of a wonderful surfer and human being. Ladies and gentlemen, C.J. Hobgood. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. Sit down, sit down. Oh, yeah. I, man. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna rag on me about being from Orlando, and then I was gonna come up here and tell you I was the best surfer from Orlando, and and I deserve every bit of that because there's actually one of my friends that is originally from Orlando, and I would rag on him until he cried, and now I live in Orlando. Um, but hey, I, I'm 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 not proud of many things, or I'm not a prideful or. It's funny, you're like, oh yeah, you know, the guy charges big waves and stuff, and, um, and now my family lives with a crier. And, um, and that's, 
Uh, so, yes, I'm, I'm a big baby. Um, but what, what I was trying to say was, I forgot. I, you know, I, I, I'm, I was born in Florida, in South Beach, Florida, and, and he, Rusty sent me on a trip to Hawaii and uh, Fiji, and me and my brother just thought that, wow, these people are stupid. Why would they send us to a place that they're not going to get anything out of this, so we should just have a good time, and we had a good time, and we came home, and then um, they sent us back, and, and I was like, wow, people... People, people care about us and people love us and, and it was always like, it was so weird that people would send me to surf. And, um, uh, what was I gonna say, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, and I just, I wanted to make, you guys love me and I just wanted to make you proud. I wanted to make Florida proud and I wanted to make, um, I don't know why. I wish I wish I um, thought more of myself because um, I just never understood why someone gave me a gift to surf and then you guys loved me and then I was supposed to just go out there and just try to you know stoke you guys out. Um, so um, yeah, that's kind of the theme of my life is you guys love me more than 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 I probably love myself at times. So I just wanted to like make you stoked. Um, and then I guess, what else was, um, yeah, uh, PT sent me a fax one time, and it was a contract, and my mom told me we shouldn't get sponsored until we're 18 because we shouldn't accept money, and um, PT got really kind of ticked off and said, you, you little shits are going to sign this contract. <laughs> and, um, and I learned a lot about business. I never forgot that. I never forgot that that's how business is done. And, and I need to, I need to learn. Um, and then I was in the car when I was 12 years old with Rick Sipone and I said, um, how do I make it in life? Um, and he said, dude, if, if you love what you do, it'll take care of you. And um, that's been another theme of my life. Um, what other stories do I have? Um, I, I, I love Matt Walker. I don't know why I love that guy, but I do. Um, <laughs> Uh, I've, I've made people mad. I, I make people mad sometimes. Um, some, I'm a loving person, but sometimes I do have a, a cold heart. Um, for I don't know why. Um, uh, my wife found me when I was in the... I was like, why do you... Why do you I'm, my stock's done. Like, what are you doing? I don't have sponsors. and um, I'm off the tour. Um, she brushed me back off. Um, put me back on tour. Salty Crew came along, and um, yeah, that's just kind of the theme of my life, really. I don't know why. Um, what else do I want to say? Um, yeah, man, I, I just really appreciate that you guys uh, made me the person that I am, and uh, I know there's people I'm going to forget. Hey, you guys have endured. I know you, all you guys are hanging to use the restroom and eat, so I, mean, I, I, I appreciate that as well. Uh, I, I, I I do, gosh, man. You know, I don't. I, I'm really in stoked that I get this. I can appreciate this word right now because I don't. I don't even. Sometimes I don't even consider myself a surfer anymore. And and I really have forgotten about a lot of things. Um, and but, I mean, Kelly's kicked my ass so many times. It's I like. Why don't I forget about that? Like, what, Kelly? Why can't I forget that? <laughs> And I love you too, man. Like, why can't, like, there's still things that I'm just like, why do I even care about that stuff anymore, man? I wish that was gone. Um, I don't, I don't, I, what other things are there? Um, I really, I really, really do. I, I, I sold my world title trophy to make a movie about me and my brother. I don't, I don't have any trophies in my house. I, I have a surfing hall of fame trophy that sits there. It's the only one. It reminds me that it's, 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 it's not about winning anything. It's not about performance. It's just about being in my house and being present. And 
Um, so this is another reminder of that that I appreciate that this is the long game. This is I just I just want to be here and, and just and, and, and be around people. So 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 I really really appreciate that. Uh, I should I should end here. You know you guys are gonna go. You guys are gonna bite your pants here. So I love you guys and I appreciate that. Yeah.